Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how to use Microsoft Whiteboard. Now this is an online whiteboard where you can collaborate with other people. This is great for meetings, for teaching, uh, for brainstorming, to work together with a group, to put all your ideas in one place. Now I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can use this online where you log in and you have access to it and everything stored in the cloud. And you can also download the app that has a few more features than the online option. And I'll go through both showing you kind of the differences between them. Let's get started here today with Microsoft Whiteboard. We're going to start with how to access your online whiteboard. Now I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, I'll put the link to this page that I'm on right here down below in the description and I'll also put uh, timestamps if you want to jump to any certain part of the video too. But I'm going to go ahead and click sign in and it will automatically bring me uh, to it. And This is my online whiteboard. So you can see this is where I can create my new whiteboards and all my other ones that I'd have will be right here. I just wanted to point out if you look if you're familiar with office uh, Microsoft 365 uh, you can look at all the different apps that are there now I'm on whiteboard you can see whiteboard is one of the apps that you would have there now a different way that you can connect with uh, whiteboard Microsoft whiteboard if I go over to Microsoft teams I can use it right inside my video chat so let's say I go ahead and go to join and I'm just gonna start uh, a meeting here I'm just gonna turn off my camera and join now and what I'm gonna do is go to share my screen so if I go down below and hit share and you'll notice on the right hand side on the bottom I have Microsoft whiteboard this is the same one it's going to be stored in the cloud so I just wanted to show you uh, that can make the connection between the whiteboard that you sign in in Microsoft 365 and the one we're using in Microsoft teams here but you don't need Microsoft teams to use it so that's the first way I just want to show you how to access I'm gonna close my Microsoft Teams here and just work out of this to show you uh, how it works online. So I'm back here in my Microsoft Whiteboard app here and I just want to show you I have a few different whiteboards that I've just created nothing's really on them but I just wanted to point out some things. Now this whiteboard meeting it says whiteboard meeting this was created inside uh, Microsoft Teams so when I created it inside Microsoft Teams just like I just showed you it gets saved over here the whiteboard and notice it has this symbol right here and that means that it shared out so it's shared out with the team that I was presenting presenting to. This whiteboard is just one I created from here and I haven't shared this out with anybody and you can see it's not, uh, doesn't have that symbol on it. This one is another one I created just by hitting create new whiteboard and I can share it inside of this. So now I'm gonna walk through and create a whiteboard. Any of these past whiteboards, if you wanna delete them, you can go ahead and hit delete and then they will go away. So if you see a lot of whiteboards, if you've used Microsoft Teams before, you might see them inside here. I'm going to go ahead and create a new whiteboard and it's going to open up and right away I just want to mention the sharing thing because a lot of times we're using this in that um, in that in that function. So we're going to go ahead, you could go ahead, hit share here and then just turn the share link on like so and then you can go hit copy link and send that link to people in their email and they can open this up and then you can collaborate together uh, brainstorm together and work together on this one but now Microsoft uh, whiteboard is a very simple program to use especially the online one as I said the download one will have a few more features on it but I'm just gonna point out uh, some of these uh, easy to use features and I'm gonna start with the text tool so if you want to add text you can simply just click on the text now you can be typing whatever uh, you want in here so and at this point I can grab and move move this around too so I can grab I can move it around on it. And the great thing is, now let me add a couple more uh, things in here. I'm gonna click on this first. You can see, I can uh, go ahead and delete this. I can uh, text color picker. So uh, if I wanna go to a different color of the text, you can see how I can change this. And I can edit the text by hitting this. I can go uh, and type uh, whatever we want. I can add more to it at any point. I can grab the uh, corners. I can size it like so. Now I'm gonna add a couple of these notes too. So I'm gonna go ahead, add note, 
you can see just by clicking on it, I'm gonna add a couple of these in here and I'm gonna move them. I'm gonna move things around here. And you can see I moved, I selected both at the same time there. So now I'm gonna just select this one and I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna add a couple more notes in here. So at any time uh, that we want, you can see I can type right in them. I'm gonna put one right over here. I can click in here, I can type right in there. I can hit the edit and I can type again, whatever I want. So if I, I'll say types of dogs here, if I was thinking about getting dogs, maybe I want people's opinions and what they can do is they could go ahead and write in here and add the type of dogs that maybe that they would suggest, or maybe uh, you'd have a different place where they could check things off in here. So uh, they could go through and grab one of these pens and annotate in here. So if you go ahead and draw draw on one of these, you can pick the different color pens you can see. And now if we're sharing this with other people, they're going to be able to do this with this and you're going to see this change in front of you and they could pick different color pens. Now, what I wanted to point out here was this right here, this pen and zoom. So I want to show you how much space you have to work with. So if I go ahead and click on this, I, a lot of times if I, with, with my mouse, I'll use the wheel and I'll just zoom out. So I can zoom way out. I can put more of these around in, in different spots. It's a little hard to grab. Uh, I can make these a lot bigger so I can grab them, but you can see if I grab, I'll just try to grab the one. I'm grabbing multiple ones at that time. I, I grabbed the one by clicking on it again. I have all this space over here. If I click on the white, I can drag and move around so I and know where I'm looking at. So you could have people working in different places over here. They could be working and then they could be zooming up uh, to be work, seeing a certain area. You have so much real estate in here. It's, think of it like a big canvas that you have. Now, at this point, if I have the eraser, simply click on it and things can be gone. So you can see uh, this, I like this because it's not a lot of different tools here, easy to use. If I just, I'm gonna go over here to the settings and I can export this as an image. When you're using the app that you download, you have another choice to export that higher resolution so you could see more, especially if you're dealing with a big, um, with a large uh, canvas that you've put a lot of different things, but I can export this as an image when I'm done. Now, so that's just kind of a brief overview of this with sharing and just some of the capabilities that you have, pretty easy to use. Now, if you wanna open the app and install the app, a couple different ways you can do this. I could click on this and hit open in app right here. And if I don't have it installed, it's gonna go ahead and ask me to get the window app like this. Or even on the page, if I just go back here, you can see I can download it for Windows for iOS right through here. So once you go through and download it, it's gonna, all you have to do is put get and go through and install it on your computer. And then we'll continue there showing you a few more options that you have. So I've launched the app. I have it installed on my computer. I went ahead and la uh, launched it. I logged into the same account. You can see up here where it says JK, I'm logged into the uh, same account that I was showing you from before. Uh, right now, it probably doesn't look like anything much has changed. You can see down below, uh, we have our different items here, but I'm gonna hit the back to go to my whiteboards. I just wanted to show you that all the different whiteboards that I was using are showing you from the online one. Everything is still here because it's syncing with the, with the cloud. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one and show you some of the features in here that make this a much more powerful whiteboard. Now let's start with uh, looking down below right here at the pen. So last time when I clicked on the pen we just had a few colors here to choose from but now you can see there's some rainbow pen and uh, galaxy pen which adds a little bit more flavor to if you want. We still have our highlighter and eraser. Now what I wanted to show you and I'm just going to go ahead and click on this here. We, you can see how we we can erase it a little bit more individually, uh, but I'm gonna put the ruler. So the, what the ruler allows you to do is if I grab a pen, normally if I was drawing over here, if I maybe was trying to draw a straight line with a ruler, I could go ahead and draw this a straight line. Now I can move it if I wanted to show uh, maybe something parallel like this. I keep it at the same degrees. You can see how I can move it around. Now you're probably wondering, how do I change the angle on the ruler? Now, if on my mouse, if I just, when I 
hover over it with uh, my mouse. You can see the uh, the pointer is on here. If I uh, just move my mouse wheel, this moves too. Uh, if you're on a touch one, uh, you could be uh, touching it and then moving it that way. But I can just wheel it over. If I'm not over top of it, you're going to see it. it's going to be the canvas that moves, zooms in out. So make sure you're um, on top of it. So you can still move this around to get those straight lines and you can turn it off. We also have the lasso select. So if I select this, if I wanted to delete things, I could highlight a bunch of these and you can see I have the garbage can right here. Uh, I have a few different features. I have the copy, the, again, the color, ink color, the ink beautification right from here. But I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. So a few more options here. We still have our undo, redo. Now, uh, a few of the other things uh, that I like here is, uh, I'm just gonna close this here, go back. And so we talked about the pen, we still have our text. We have our notes like we did before. We can move it around. Uh, we can add images now. So we have our image menu. We can go from a uh, library image. We could go from the Bing image. We could go from camera and bring them in. I could actually drag them. So if I drag it over and put it in here, I just drag, put this from my desktop and put it over. But you have a few different ways. So once it's in, you can see I can resize this. And when you put things on the canvas inside the, uh, the on the app one, notice that we have a few more options here. So we have a like. So maybe you're putting, you're trying to get a little voting happening. If I click, there's a little like on there. So if you're collaborating with people, other people can put the likes or you can unlike it and it goes away. So here we have ink grab. And uh, to do this, you just need to click on the picture. And actually I'm gonna grab a different image. And the reason why is this is a simpler image just on a green background, just on a, on a green screen. If I click it, you can see it will quickly change this. It just finds the, the, uh, high li the lines and then it will replace it with ink. This one just has a lot of more happening and it could uh, just, it might not work as well with certain images, just so you know. Now, another feature with the images when you're working, you can lock them to the background. And this could be handy if you don't want something moved. If you go ahead and lock it. Now, if I go and try to move this one, I'm, br I'm moving everything on here. These still move so I can move things over top of here but uh, if I click on this I can move this over top but this one I can't. Now if I go ahead and right click on this one I get the options uh, where I can unlock here too. So using right click on this you can use it all over the place. You can see if you wanted to bring in if you hover over it will show you what it is if you forget what if you wanted to add an image I can just right click and kind of, rather than going down here try right clicking in different places and that will give you that option. So that's just some ways to work with the uh, images. I'm just going to delete these off here. I'm just hitting delete on my keyboard and I wanted to show you these options here. So we have no grid preview. So I'm going to go note grid. These give you fast ways to, uh, uh, to uh, you know, have places so you don't have to create everything. If I go ahead, add note, you can see I can add notes and it's in a nice clean uh, format here for you. So if you want it, you can go ahead and delete these. You can see the different options that are there from sorting uh, to editing. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this. I wanted to show you a few more options. We have a list preview uh, on this one. So if I go, I'll zoom up. You can uh, give a task list. So maybe you're working with a group of people. You could uh, type, you know, give a task here. You can uh, feed the dog on this one and then hit enter and it'll go down to the next one. Now there's other options too. If I look through and maybe there's a follow-up, uh, with follow-ups, you can actually assign to people. You can, if you're working that collaborative group, you can type what they are and get the list and you can assign to people part of the group. Now, another way that this can, you can save a lot of time uh, on this is to use the templates. Now I'm just gonna delete these again. I'm just clicking on them and uh, selecting the delete up here, the garbage can. But if I go up here, you can see there's templates and then the templates, and I'm just gonna, there's lots to go through, but let's say if you wanted a brainstorming one, everything's there for you. I'm just gonna go ahead and maximize this 
and move over and you can see you could have your ideas here so maybe you're doing some design thinking or you have your iterations you can change these too you can change the names you have your agenda that you've created before you have your follow-up actions when you're assigning to people and everything will be right here in the whiteboard and gives you that place where you're working together so definitely um, something you can save a lot of time taking advantage of these you can also i just hit the undo to delete at that time in the you can insert pdfs and word documents inside of here so if i was going to a word document i could go and just grab one off my desktop here and this one just has a little bit of text it takes a kind of like an image of it if i go ahead and insert it it will put it in here. I can also do that with PowerPoints and PDFs. I'll just grab a PowerPoint. Now, depending on how long, how big the PowerPoint is and how, um, how what type of media you have in there, uh, it will take images of each slide and then you can go through and put individual slides or you can select which ones you want. And you'll be able to see here, this one had four. If I wanted this first one in, I could go ahead and insert it and I can still move this around and everything. So it gives you a place where you can put, you know, where you're planning, have everything there. So definitely some added features compared to the online version if you go through with these. Uh, the other thing I just wanted to point out is up here in your settings, you have a few different things from the active pen, ink to shape. So if you're turning this on, if you are drawing, I'll just try to draw. If this is on, if I try to draw a circle, you can see it uh, corrected it. Uh, same thing with a square. Let's try that. And it fixes that. So you just need to turn that ink to shape on like so. We have uh, ink uh, to table, any of these that you turn on here, object uh, snapping. So if you're moving something and that was already turned on, it just moves uh, close. Uh, it moves, you can move things really easily uh, to each other. Uh, we you can see other ones if you go down here I'm not going to go through the whole list here but I just wanted to point out where we have post to teams uh, if you go through there we have format or background do you want a grid background on it or do you want a different color you can have set all these things up uh, for yourself through here and you can clear the canvas so make sure you're looking at the setting to, to see all the different things that you can do and when you're done if you have a lot of things on it when you hit export on the online you could do the PNG but now you could do the high quality image so that means that if you have a larger canvas it's going to be a better quality to zoom up when you have this larger higher quality image on it so take a look at all the different setting options that you can uh, have in here I would recommend if you can download the option download this app uh, to put it uh, on your computer whether you're on Mac or or Windows and it just has a lot more features works quite smoothly so I hope you like this walkthrough of Microsoft whiteboard today I find this is a great tool to collaborate to share to teach with and especially if you're using Microsoft teams it's built right into this but if you're not you can still be using this and sharing it out and gives a great place uh, to work. Thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more uh, tech tips and tutorials.